Hi, everyone. I'm Jess, and I'm the content manager here at Course Report. Course Report is the resource for helping people find the right coding boot camps for them. You can use the Course Report website to research the best coding boot camps all over the world, as well as insights on which coding languages to learn, where to apply, and how to get into a boot camp, and then so much more. So, getting in and going to a coding boot camp is one thing, and then landing a job after coding boot camp is like a whole other thing. And any boot camp worth its weight will be very intentional about the job search with their students. At Codesmith, they have a career support team, but also bring some of their alumni back as career support engineers to help students navigate their job search. And Codesmith alumni have always had some of the most impressive job titles and starting salaries in the bootcamp landscape. So today I'm interviewing two experts from Codesmith about how bootcamp grads can make that very personal decision about which software engineering role is best for them. So let me introduce these experts. Annie Zadikoff, who is the Senior Outcomes Manager at Codesmith, and Kara Dibden, who is a Codesmith Bootcamp alum and now a Career Support Engineer at Codesmith. So Annie and Kara, thank you so much for speaking with me today. First, I'd love to know a bit more about your roles at Codesmith. So Annie, what is your role at Codesmith and how does the Career Support Team support residents? Yeah, well, thank you, Jess, for organizing all of this. I'm excited to chat more about Codesmith and our career support team. Uh, my title at Codesmith is Senior Outcomes Manager. Now, what that means, I oversee the hiring program and career support for our residents at Codesmith. Uh, my team guides residents and grads through the hiring program at Codesmith starting with the resume building process all the way through the hiring program lectures that lead up to graduation. We support graduates through their job search processes, and we also continue to stay in touch with the alumni community after graduation. And Cara, what is a career support engineer's role at Codesmith? Hey, thanks, Jess. Yeah, so the career support engineer's role is just basically to support graduates in every aspect of their first job search, as well as throughout their careers after Codesmith. So we can do this in a couple of different ways. We do it with group and one-on-one -on -one sessions, uh, different kinds of sessions that might include, you know, going over a technical narrative, uh, reviewing a resume, uh, conducting some technical mock interviews. We also do a group session, which is like a post-grad group kickoff session which is really great to help start building those networks that are going to help um, graduates as they go into their first job search and uh, get them started on the best path to their first job. Annie, why did Codesmith decide to add career support engineers to the team? Like, what are the benefits of having CSEs helping residents? Well, at Codesmith, we truly value personalized support, and that weighed heavily into the decision to add career support engineers to our team. For any of you, for anyone that's ever done a software engineering job search, you know that constructive feedback can be hard to come by. So having someone that can give you one-on-one -on -one support and advice is really helpful to see what you can improve within your technical skills and communication. Our career support engineers also help us ensure that we have industry best practices within our curriculum. They help us ensure that our advice stays up to date and they offer a variety of different perspectives. But when it comes down to it, it's really about that personalized support in relationship building. I'm sure Kara can attest uh, career support engineers are often that person to first get the text or Slack message when someone gets an offer and, and celebrate together, whether it's that first role out of Codesmith or beyond. All right. Well, let's talk a little bit about career services at Codesmith. Kara, thinking back to when you were a resident at Codesmith, did you feel well prepared for your job search after Codesmith's career services? Like, were employers interested in your Codesmith experience and maybe also the experience you gained from your open source product? Yeah, I mean, of course, you know, first off, just getting into the Codesmith immersive is an achievement in itself, because before admission, you really have to hone those technical communication and problem solving skills. And those are the real foundations that you'll continue to build um, throughout the program that are just essential for the job search. Uh, I also think that Codesmith's career services are one of the most valuable things that are offered as part of the program. The reason that I say that is because 
you know, technical knowledge, skill, experience that you might have does not necessarily translate into knowing how to approach the job search. It's a whole different thing. And so it makes all the difference to have that um, knowledge when moving into a great position. Uh, the work that I did on my open source product was still to this day, some of the most valuable and technically challenging work I've ever done. So employers were always really interested to see how I delved deep into the weeds on some really complex engineering areas and solved some really complex problems um, with that work. And Annie, typically what kinds of goals do Codesmith grads um, set for themselves? Well, the goal is to reach that high level of achievement. Um, and for our residents leaving the program, oftentimes that means finding a place to work where the work itself is interesting and challenging um, and pushes you to be the best engineer that you can be. Now, that may mean a mid to senior level role, uh, but that's not really the point. The point is to grow as a leader in tech. And long term, just like business or law school, Codesmith grads look to build their best professional career through the lens of understanding how effective technology can be in achieving an organization's goals. As we all know, software engineering is crucial in any modern organization's success, whether it's conglomerate tech like Apple, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, media tech like New York Times, clean tech like Arcadia Health Tech, et cetera. All of these companies are dependent on software engineering to achieve their goals. And Codesmith alums are leaders that understand the underlying role of technology within the bigger picture of an organization. They know to lead others with value, um, but they also know that Codesmith provides them with the tools to lead their own best life. And they've earned that, whatever that means for them. Kara, when Codesmith grads are considering companies, what should they look out for in that job description? Yeah, so I think it's great to look for a company that's technologically forward uh, and really invested in the growth of their engineers. You want to see if, you know, there's leadership opportunities, opportunity for you to really grow in that role and in the company. Another thing that I like to look at is the tech stack. So I always just like to check, you know, they're up to date, invested in working with new tech. But at the same time, I would just say, you know, keep an open mind when it comes to what tech that you work with. Um, plenty of alums learn new technologies or start using new technologies. That's just a part of being a software engineer. You have to stay up to date with everything new that's coming out. And then um, lastly, I would look for opportunities to mentor and be mentored. So, you know, software engineering can be a really lonely profession if you let it be. But I think that the best work is really done in collaboration and learning with each other. So finding an organization that's really focused on that kind of um, collaborative work is, is excellent. Annie, kind of piggybacking on that, what are the typical tech roles that Codesmith residents land after graduating? Like, what are the top factors residents are taking into consideration during that job search? Well, after Codesmith, we really see people go into a variety of companies. Some of them are larger companies. As I had mentioned earlier, industries like conglomerate tech, media tech, entertainment tech, health tech, et cetera. Uh, but we also see grads go into small and mid-sized companies where they're really deeply resonating with the mission. In terms of stack, it's it's varied quite widely between front-end, back-end, and full-stack focused roles. Most of the roles right now are either hybrid or fully remote. There are some exceptions. Um, and although the instruction at Codesmith is in full-stack JavaScript, we see folks go into a variety of tech stacks, some of which they haven't worked in, in Codesmith at all. Um, it's very common to see people go into Python roles, Vue, Angular, Java, C++, et cetera. So good to keep an open mind when looking at the job descriptions and the tech stacks used at companies. So Kara, you graduated from Codesmith's part-time program in 2021. Congratulations. Um, I'd love to know where are you working now? Like what kinds of projects are you working on? And what are your primary programming languages that you're working with? Yeah, so right now I'm working at Moody's Analytics, where I work mainly in TypeScript with React and Node Express. We work with a lot of data, so my job entails handling and processing that data in a meaningful way and creating products uh, that make that data accessible for our clients. That's awesome. 
Um, so as we all know on this call, it's really stressful trying to land that first job after graduating from a coding boot camp like Codesmith, especially when so many boot camp grads are dealing with um, imposter syndrome. So Annie and Cara, I'd love to ask you both this question. What are your tips for current residents on how to choose the right software engineering role for them? Well, one big tip I have is keep an open mind. The exact company or tech stack might not be exactly what you expected, uh, but it's really about clicking with the team that you'll be working on and making sure that you resonate with the company's values. Mentorship is also a really important aspect to look for within your job search and the companies that you sign an offer with. You want to be working with a team that pushes you to be your best and continually improve. Uh, so ask yourself, did you connect with the team during the interview process? Can you see mentorship as, as part of your team structure? Uh, again, think back to the company values. Resonating with company values is really key to long-term success. And being on the career support team, I also have to mention, make sure that compensation expectations are aligned. You've worked really hard to get to this point, so make sure that you're happy on that front as well. Yeah, I mean, I agree with everything that Annie has said. And in addition, you know, as an engineer, as part of the interview process, take that opportunity to talk with other engineers at the company and see what their day to day is like. Um, it's also a great opportunity to ask them, you know, what uh, opportunities are at the company for technical growth and leadership, uh, because that's going to be important in your choice. And somewhat, you know, echoing what Annie was saying as well, like, remember that you're also evaluating the company and the team as somewhere that you'd like to work. Um, so think about what's important uh, to you in a position as you go into that job search. Annie, how does Codesmith continue to support their grads in their career growth after they've graduated? Well, when it comes to the job search post-graduation, all of the different ways that we stay in touch and support is one of the lectures during the hiring program. Uh, but a few key points of that is keeping that line of communication constant. We have Slack channels with the grads and the team to chat through interview processes, questions, just reflect on how things are going. We have monthly updates that we send to all of our grads so we can check in on things like job search pipeline, what companies that you've interviewed with, see if there's anything that can be refined in your own process. There's also weekly office hours with team members. Uh, this is an opportunity for our grads to network within the community, but also discuss questions with the team. And of course, like Cara, we have our career support engineer team that helps our grads work through technical blocks that can come up in interviews. That's awesome. That sounds so comprehensive. Um, the tech hiring scene has changed so dramatically over the last few years. Um, so I have a few questions about that. Cara, what are the backgrounds of the other engineers that you're working with now? Yeah, so I mean, the engineers that I work with now and those I've worked with in the past as well, they all have very diverse backgrounds. Um, some are from other coding programs, some boot camp grads, some have computer science degrees. We have self-taught programmers. Uh, some have other degrees, but they've moved into software engineering as a career over time. Uh, you know, ultimately, our goal as a team uh, is solving engineering challenges and developing a deep understanding of our product. So I think having a team with diverse backgrounds can really help us work together and see different perspectives and develop really interesting and unique approaches to problems, which has been extremely rewarding for me in my career uh, to see that happen. Of uh -huh. course, an essential part of having a diverse team and um, different perspectives is engineering with empathy and keeping an open mind. Uh, and I think that's something that Codesmith really instills in grads. And it's just a core aspect of being a successful engineer. I love to hear that there's a diversity of backgrounds um, that you're working with. That's so great. Um, Annie, how does the alumni community at Codesmith support one another in finding the right role? Well, our alumni community is really active and very supportive. It's one of my favorite parts of working at Codesmith. Um, and the team also continues to stay in touch with alums way far past that first role. Uh, in terms of alumni community support, they're fully led alumni communities within themselves. 
One that I know is really active is called Alumni Daily Standups. This group meets together every single day and talks about different goals that people have during their own job searches, whether it's algorithms or submitting applications, whatever it is for them. And it's really cool to see that there's alums in their first job search after Code Smith, their second job search and beyond. So it's really a, a strong community. Um, and I also would want to mention referrals are a key way that grads get hired into their roles. Many of those referrals come directly from alumni, and that's something that we talk about in the hiring program itself during Code Smith is how to network effectively and leverage referrals during the job search. Cara, since graduating from Code Smith last year, how do you feel like you've grown um, as an engineer? Yeah, it's been such a great journey. Um, so my current employer, Moody's Analytics, has been fantastic to work for in terms of the opportunities I've had for growth and professional development. I work alongside a team of extremely talented engineers who've just been amazing to work with. And I've also had the opportunity there to mentor junior engineers and students through their corporate social responsibility program. So that's been really rewarding for me as a part of my career as well. Kara, since you were on the job search, you know, within the past two years, do you have any favorite tech job hunt strategies or resources that you'd like to share? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so first of all, uh, I would say, you know, try to apply consistently. Um, I see this as well with people that I talk to. Some will do like 20 applications a day and then nothing for two weeks. And I think that it's um, you'll get a lot more out of it if you do a few applications every day, even if it is less, and you're catching all those opportunities as they come out. Um, also keep track of your applications. So Codesmith has the Codesmith style job application tracker, which is a great way to keep track of your progress, like what jobs you've applied to, who you spoke to, what the position was, where you're up to with the, um, with the job process, because you will forget. <laughs> um, and it's also a great way to revisit your job search and check, um, you know, how you've been going with it, when that data is all there in front of you. I would also say, prioritize what to study with a balance of applications. So yeah, you definitely do want to brush up on your algorithms, brush up on your data structures, Codesmith grads do your hack hours, um, but there's no need to start like a whole new course or, you know, delve into a huge program of study. Uh, if you're waiting to be good enough, you're going to be waiting forever. That is just what it is to be a software engineer. You have to dive in the deep end, learn new technologies, uh, learn new skills. So yeah, of course, keep working on improving, but find that balance with making sure you're doing applications and being involved in the job search process as well. And then finally, I would say, use your support network. You know, Codesmith has this fantastic net network of alumni who have a huge wealth of knowledge, um, more than just a single career support engineer could ever have. So drawing on all of that um, to support you in your job search. Of course, we are here, career support engineers to help um, graduates and the whole team at Codesmith is extremely supportive. Um, but, you know, the job search process, it can be tough at times. And so it's nice to find someone who's on that journey with you, who can, um, you know, share what you're going through and celebrate your successes when you do um, land that role. So I'd say, yeah, make sure you use your support network. And that's an excellent place to wrap up this careers Q&A. Thank you so much for sharing your insights with us today, Annie and Cara. Um, we will be posting a recording and a transcript of this video interview on the Course Report blog with contact information for Codesmith, just in case you're interested in applying for one of their upcoming cohorts. Um, and thanks so much to all of you for watching. Tweet at us, email us, let us know which topic you'd like us to cover next on the Course Report blog. And in the meantime, follow Course Report on Facebook and Twitter. And if you're a bootcamp alumni, don't forget to post a review of your own bootcamp experience on Course Report. Your review is a huge help to anyone thinking of getting into tech today. Thank you.